and we're live. How is everyone doing? Welcome to the show. My hat's crooked. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Let me get my potential buddy in here. Hopefully everyone is doing well, 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 well. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? I need to go to Twitter. Don't, 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 don't. I wonder if any of you guys will even come in here. We'll see how this goes. Because most of you don't like Apple, I don't think. Hey, what's up, Tom? Welcome to the show. How's everyone doing? Got the Apple event playing on the side here. It's new, Tom. Hey, Tyler. Welcome. What's going on? Jay Stan, hi Greg, excited for the new Apple stuff. Yeah, I am too. See what they got. I'm probably going to pick up, well, I'll tell you what I'll pick up in a little bit because I'll probably end up saying it the whole thing. What's up, Josh? Yeah, dude, I know you hate Apple, huh? Hater, I know. I know you're just joking. Uh, Nelly, what does it say? Nelly Neal. What's up? I need to get this thing fixed. I think my father, I had my father-in-law hook this thing up. I think he did it backwards. My mic, my mic arm. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Humza? Nice to see you. Nothing really, just strolling, just strolling socials and internet for fold news. Man, Tom, you're hungry for some fold news, huh? Oh, that I know there's a couple stories... Oh, this dope. I can't believe it. Dude, I had this. <laughs> What's this watch? The Wise Watch. I did a video on it a few weeks ago. Dude, this watch, I think it just died today. I had it sitting on my desk. It was like alive for like weeks and weeks. It's freaking crazy. Came for you, pray, stayed for you. Dude, Josh, you should come on, bro. Where are you, Josh? Where are you, Josh? J Cutie. JJJ cutie. I don't know. Apple is a little boring. They really need to wow me. What would they have to do to wow you, uh, JMO? You can hate the Apple team, but that is why I use Apple and Android more. Like, wait, wait, what is that? You can hate the Apple team, but that is why I use Apple and Android more like Samsung and Apple. Okay. Hello from Slovenia. Where's Slovenia? Is that like Eastern Europe? I don't even know. I gotta look that up. Miko Pico Miko Pico. Let's see where Slovenia is. Where is Slovenia? Central Europe. Central Europe. I was kind of right. I said Eastern. Josh, you ain't working if you're on, you're in the chat room, so. And now it's Apple news time. Not really my cup of tea, though. Tom, do you have any Apple stuff? Do you have an Apple computer, a tablet, anything? Never had an iPhone, but iPhone 12 looks awesome. I have the iPhone 12. I'm actually charging it right now. Oh, how much battery life I get? Oh, I have a good amount of battery left. I was charging this. I thought I was, like, basically dead. Got my Apple. Oh, man. This cam, this webcam makes <laughs> the colors look awful. But I... Every time I hook my other camera up, it's like, I don't know. I gotta, figure, I gotta, I gotta use my other camera because this thing looks garbage. <clears throat> What'd you say, anyways? Yeah, it does. The iPhone 12 is pretty nice. Humza, I'm looking to buy an S21 Ultra. All right, you should. A good phone, very good phone. One thing I know about the S21 Ultra, actually, to go back to your question, for me anyway, is how much better the battery life is in the S21 Ultra versus the Z Fold 3. Oh. 
Z Fold 3, I got to charge that thing multiple times a day. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the S21 Ultra I had to, had to too as well, but S21 Ultra was lasting me hours longer. Some foldables or more customization to their devices. Okay. Real multitasking. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> I mean you can multitask. You can multitask on their iPads. You can run multiple windows. Um, do they have floating windows? I can't remember. I think they have floating windows. <clears throat> but yeah, you can multitask on the iPads. iPhones, no. I don't have a piece of Apple. Okay. My son has an iPad from school, but that's it. Had a MacBook Air for work. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think they have. If you guys didn't know, I have new merch. Where am I going to show you guys? Where's my phone? I can't. Sometimes the app, this StreamYard crashes if you switch to a new window. So I'm going to do it the getaway. I'm just going to show you. I got new shirts, guys. Let me open up my photos. Pick up a shirt. They're linked in the little description down below here. If you look there and it says merch, click on that. You can pick up yourself a shirt. Tom actually got one for free because he is a exclusive Patreon member. In certain tiers I have in Patreon, you get it. Oh, the event started. Tom, um, what the hell is that guy's name? Man, I can't even think of the guy from Apple's name. What's his name? Whoa, that's a close-up, dude. What's up? Anyways, these are my new shirts. That's not that's not the shirt, but that's the design. So pick up a shirt. They're linked down below. Oh, very, very cool. Um, the guy that actually designed that shirt for me actually works for not Disney. What's the other one, Disney? What's the not the other? What's the Fox one? Are you there, Adam? Can you hear me? All right, it's muted. There we what's go. That, what's that company? Are you talking about Pixar? What's that? DreamWorks? No, the other one. What? DreamWorks? DreamWorks. He works for DreamWorks. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. Well, the design looks... He, he used to design my old band covers, too. My, the, the album covers. He was, he's a good guy. Um, Only on the iPads. Uh, did the Apple event start? Yes, it did. Uh, if you guys want to watch it, I'll... Did it already start? I'll put it right here. I can't, I can't broadcast it if you're curious... Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that they'll copyright strike me and take the stream down, so that's why. They will. It's really lame yeah. that they do that, too. Yeah. Your camera looks good. What are you using? If Apple, oh, dear. our values and principles uh, make uh, us who we are. Uh, I'm using my Sony a7 II. It looks good. looks nice and crisp. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you got a, you got a what's up in the, in the chat. Let me see. I can't see the chat. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's Tom. Tommy boy. Old Tom. Um, yeah. What are you excited for? I mean, I, I don't know if you've been paying it. I forget. I, I, we kind of talked a little bit offline, but what are you kind of looking forward to at least seeing or maybe getting or both? Uh, the biggest thing for me today uh, is the the new iPad Pro. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested in that to see what they're doing with it. I know that like the 12.9 is supposed to have the mini LED, which I mean, that's cool. I, I it's whatever. I mean, I, I don't really care so much about the screen, <clears throat> but uh, I'm I'm looking to see what all you know if they do anything new with the with the Apple Pencil or if they change anything else with it. See, that's the one thing. Well, they, I think they are doing. Yeah, the pencil is going to be. I forget what I said about the pencil. I know it's going to magnetically stick again. Yeah, which is good. It, what's the other? Thing? Oh, the screen. It's funny. You, you're not excited about the screen so much, but I, I'm. That's actually what I want the most because. I want a better screen on there. And I think this will finally it's, I feel like this is like a middle tier of like in between AMOLED and LCD. We'll yeah. I mean, it it's good. I, I, I mean, it's not an OLED, but uh, yeah. at the same time, the mini LED is good. I mean, I, I've seen that technology and um, a lot of TVs this last year, it's been real popular. It's like uh, it's better than the QLEDs and the LCDs, but, okay. and the LEDs, but it's not quite as good as the OLEDs, but still it's very, very good option. Okay. It's funny when you watch these Apple events, the like it's like the first thirty five minutes is them just talking about <laughs> whatever. All, all I mean like their their stats. Their respect. <laughs> these are all the ways we've improved your life this last year. And this is how much money we still made for you guys. The for developers. you. For you. <laughs>
You know, <sighs> it's funny to me that Apple really is like the author on podcast and it's 2021. And I think in my lifetime, I've still only listened to like two partial podcasts. Really? Yeah. That's funny. I, I listen to pod. I, I go through stages like where I'll always listen to podcasts or I'll, or I won't. And, um, but no, I've listened. I used to, I was listening to podcasts way back in the day, way back in the day. Oh yeah. Uh, they're before, like, now, now they're like so super mainstream. Everybody has a podcast. I mean, I don't have one, but I mean, well, I know, you know, I, what I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think you about know. it. Like, you know, I'm doing so many other things that it's so hard to just even add a podcast. Yeah. I like, I don't know. I like the, I like the, uh, the flexibility with podcasts, especially if you're not doing it live. I mean, you can basically record and upload it whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. I like the on demand. All well, uh, videos are on demand too, but yeah, the, um, the features of, uh, of pretty much anywhere. You're not like, like with YouTube, you're kind of like, a, what's that? I was like, what's that noise? It's like playing music on my ear. I'm like, is that playing stuff for me? Anyways, uh, the, the ability to be br uh, broadcast from anywhere. YouTube, you can only watch your videos on YouTube, but with the podcast, right. you're in all these different feeds. You know, you're kind of your own thing. Yeah, I do like that. It's more autonomy. Yeah. What is it? What are they showing here? New color? I guess so. And I, I do like the color that they're showing this, this kind yeah, of Yeah, it is. It's nice. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to get a purple iPhone 12. Oh, that is buy, nice. I, I have to that. admit that is... I, I what, like that. Are you going to buy it? <laughs> Good, <man. laughs> Maybe. Oh, I love purple. It's my favorite What's color. Up? And I wanted... I, uh, I like sorry. that. What's up, uh, Miguel? What's up, Phil? Oh, Tom. If they hey, did, Phil. Welcome to the show. If they did it for the 12 Pro, I would buy it today. <laughs> but I know. Uh, are they going to do... Is it just the iPhone, regular iPhone 12s? Yeah, so April, a, what does it say? April 30th, new iPhone, new colored iPhone? Yeah, I might buy the Mini. Really? Yeah. What is he announcing here? This guy. Well, it looks like we're traveling to a new location. <laughs> oh, they love these drones, dude. Oh, they do. <laughs> they do this every time. Yeah, like, we're going from here to there. Oh, it's a really nice looking campus, though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I would love to work there. No, I don't want to work for any big company ever again, I'll be honest with you. No, Miguel, no, no. What are you going to What are you gonna buy today, Miguel? Go ahead, Adam. No, I would never want to work for Apple. Like, but that campus is beautiful. Oh yeah. yeah. How about we just make we can just make videos there. Yeah, live like, there. You could live there. How about living there? Like Tim, can I can I make a Samsung video on your property? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, I see that going really well. And like, sure, let me get my lawsuit ready. You just go stand right there. <laughs> I can't hear what she's saying, but she looks excited. She's. New iPhone accessory. Finding things easier. They're going to announce oh, the here tags. Heading. Here they go. They're showing off the tags, everybody. This is revolutionary. <laughs> this product has never been created before ever by anybody. Yeah. No, never. Never. <clears throat> it's funny to me that this technology has been out for about five years now. They're actually a little behind when it comes to this whole, like, tag idea. <clears throat> but, you know, of course, they created it, and they're going to revolutionize the world with tags. But I think theirs are smaller, though, right? Compared to everybody else's, isn't everybody else's like Samsung's is pretty big, and uh, I think Samsung's. I forget how much of the. Well, how big are the other ones? What's that company that makes them? It's really popular. Tile. Makes so tile, tile is like tile. the big mainstream one that's been around for years. That's had them. I mean, of course, yes, they've got great integration. It's cool here where you can basically use your phone like a homing device and go find your stuff. But then I'm like, who really is going to put these tags on things? You know, like. I, mean, I get the keychain one, but beyond that, I mean. Well, that's the thing. I agree with you. It's like you put them on a keychain, possibly on a remote, possibly on uh, a bag. I mean, but other I'll, than that, it's like, what, how many? I mean, I, I have the Samsung one on my keys and I've used it like twice. So it yeah. does come in handy, but I don't know. Let's we'll see how much it costs. Sure. I'm curious. I'm, that way, where? like, them all and get separated, I can find her. <laughs> It'll I mean, like give you a v AR uh, directions right in front yeah. of you. Of course, I mean she's not going to go far. She's going to be at H and M, but I mean these are going to sell like crazy though because they're said they're going to be a cheap little gift that you can get your your friends and your family for their you know stocking stuffers and their birthday gifts and yeah, they're going to sell like crazy. It. They're probably going to be forty bucks. <clears throat> you think? I, I, yeah, I you probably will. Apple's usually double everybody else. You're probably right. Like I don't have any insight as this as far as pricing and availability, but my guess is. 
probably 40. It wouldn't surprise me if they charge 49 bucks or maybe they might charge like 59 mm-hmm. if you get a two pack. I doubt they're going to give you a two pack though. Yeah. At least initially. Oh, whoa, here we go. I like the Thank color. Thank you, Tom. Oh, sorry, one second. Here's something news for Greg Z Fold 3 and for my daily tech. Thank you so much, Tom, and thank you for being a, a seriously a constant supporter of the channel with everything, with your Patreon and comments and uh, and super these Tom. super chats. Thanks so much, dude. Super Tom with the super chat. Yeah, super. You should change your name to Super Ass Tom. <laughs> 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 and that, that's in euros too. That's like fourteen that's like bucks, dude. Bucks. Yeah, <laughs> that's like a hundred bucks American. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they'd let you get donations in um, like Doge or like crypto, like automatically, so you don't even have to buy it. <laughs> you can get which twenty nine bucks, twenty nine bucks air tags. There we go. Yeah, that's about a 10 four bucks. pack for a hundred bucks. Wait, is that even a deal? Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of a deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, twenty five per instead of twenty nine per, but so I mean, that's a. Uh, I'm glad they're cheaper. Yeah, it's going to make them more. They really want to get these out in in people's pockets if they're charging twenty nine bucks. Yeah, so twenty nine bucks for a single, ninety nine bucks for a four pack. They come out April thirtieth. They have accessories like little tag things you can put them on. Do you even have an iOS device right now? Yeah, I got an iPhone. I have an iPad Pro. I bought the iPhone twelve Pro Max a month or two ago. Nice. Yeah, I've had mine yeah. for a long time, but I I only use it for shooting my videos. But I got a new camera, so I'm I'm gonna be trying to migrate away from that. Yeah, I can't hear what he's saying, so. Um, put some headphones in. Do you have headphones? Uh, well, original. Oh, never mind. I can they're talking the about Apple TV they're... stuff. Oh, I can hear it, though. Oh, you can't? Oh. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just follow along. You, all he's, just talking about, he's just talking about uh, Apple TV. Apple TV Plus, sorry. I don't oh, they're going to announce a new Apple TV, I think. Yeah, they're talking about a new one a while ago, so I'm kind of been expecting that to be a... They, a yeah, they haven't one. announced one in a while, a it's long time. A while, so Gen 3's been out for a while. <clears throat> this year, believe. Believe. Kindness. Kindness. Do you watch any of the Apple TV Plus shows? I don't. And, you know, I've had Apple TV Plus for free since you know, the iPhone 11 came out last year and... Well, you're before last, and I maybe have watched two hours. Like the For All Mankind show is really good. I need I need to get back into watching that. I watched the first two episodes. I like the uh, Jennifer Aniston show. With, the, oh, that uh, new Steve one. Carell. Yeah, I didn't like the first episode. It took me a second to get into it, but then I was like, "Damn, this is a good show." I've heard this is really good. This one with Jason Sudeikis. It's supposed to be really funny. Uh, not really funny, but it's supposed to be a really good show. But yeah, also- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The funny thing is, I actually like Jason Sudeikis better as a serious actor than a comedian. That is crispy looking, though. Like, you can tell that they're not streaming this through YouTube. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you watching it on Apple's website? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching on their website. I got a 4K monitor, so it looks super crispy. Damn, look at you bossing out. They're just showing, if if you're not watching the live event, you're just watching us, they're just showing... Uh, what was his name? Jason Sudeikis. His yeah. t- his show on Apple TV Plus. It's probably a new season or something, right? Um, so it's a new show that recently came out, and from what I know, basically he was like an American football coach, maybe for like a college team or something, and got hired to go coach like football, football, like soccer in the UK, uh, with this big team, and like he's not a soccer coach; he's a regular football coach and it, i think oh, okay. it was kind of done as like a way to kind of destroy the team i think it, something to do with the owner's wife and the sh- uh, don't quote me to it ted lasso that's what it's called like oh i guess it is a new season coming out <clears throat> see i didn't realize it was a tv show people were talking about it the other day i thought it was a movie i don't know maybe i'll watch it one day i probably won't watch it i tried watching that do you know that other show where it's like a it's like a it's on apple tv plus it's like a a team that makes video games on there and it's like a joke it's it's supposed to be a comedy i just couldn't i wanted to get into it but i could not they make they're just a video game developer they make like an mmo game <laughs> you don't know i forgot no, I what it's called yeah apple tv mosquito coast yeah there it is right there <laughs> no that's what it looks like now though i mean unless it's the same hockey puck look it wouldn't surprise me but they've already got an Apple TV 4K, so I'm like, what are they going to update? I mean, other than the software. 
Hey, B. Floyd, welcome to the show. He's saying hi to you too, Adam. Oh, let me pull the cat chat up. Hello, hello. I, I need to open more windows. You know, for having an ultra wide monitor, I need to <laughs> just to not be looking at one window the whole time. <laughs> there we go. I can multitask. Man, are they going to announce? Are they going to announce tags? Apple TV, iPad Pros, Pro, MacBook Pro, iPad, iMac. A lot of stuff today. I think. I mean, I. I don't particularly care about IMAX. I know we talked about this. Apple, wait, a, Apple TV wow. 4K. Didn't they already have the 4K? Yeah, but they're putting an A12 in it. That's like way overkill. Well, <laughs> no, an iPhone, an iPhone. Is uh, there a camera built into it or something though? I don't know. That's like an iPhone 10s processor, isn't it? The A12. Um, what are they on now? They're on the 14, right? Yeah, I think it's the A12. Is, is that's the, not that crazy yeah. overboard. They were always a couple steps behind with the, the home. Well, yeah, I know, process. but like to, to just power an Apple TV, that's a lot of power. They've got a, this has to be a hundred bucks. If they, they're going to probably be 130, 150 uh, again. My guess is the 129. <clears throat> I think that it's got to come down a little bit. I mean, they were, I think, 149 before, but it's kind of been out for a while now. One sec. High frame HDR. Yeah, I mean, HDR Airplay. Yeah, that's probably going to be the big selling feature here is the enhancements to AirPlay so you can cast wherever you want to the TV. And, and that it's going to need the extra computing power, especially if you're like playing games and things like that. So I, I, could, I, I see the need for it. It's just surprising me that it's they're going with that. I'm sure they got a lot of A12s laying around. Though. So wait, there's a camera or something in there because you can. Maybe you can sync your. Uses phone. the light sensor in your iPhone, and it color balances. That's neat. So you can get the optimum color for your for your for your viewing space. That's that's neat. Now I'm thinking there's probably going to be a higher version of this too. Probably there might be like a 199 model. Because there was a rumor there's one that has like a HomePod built into it, a camera, and an Apple TV built into it. Yeah, I mean that's a tangible benefit right there. Look at that color balancing. Of course, I'll get it in my in my living room and it'll look like poop. I mean, <laughs> I know. Well, you're that good, but I mean it's the thought that counts. Right there. <clears throat> oh god, let's see a new remote. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's better. It's not yeah. the touch crap. <laughs> the remote is such trash. It's Man. so bad. Woo. Like, I'm not going to get one of these, but I mean, for people that want them, this looks like a good deal. <laughs> uh, I, I like what they're doing with it. Well, this yeah, that's the show I was talking about. That For All Mankind really good show. I just, I have a really short attention span. I'll, I'll start yeah. watching something else and then I'll never go back to it. Are you going to pick this up or no, this Apple TV? Uh, if I do, it's not going to be to review it. Um, I could conceivably get one from my office just because. This stupid LG TV I have doesn't have HBO, <clears throat> HBO Max built yeah. in. I don't, I don't need it. I have like all those Google oh. Chromecast yeah, streaming I, my, things. Yeah, the one Google sent us, it's still in the box. <laughs> oh, you haven't opened it? I have, see, I bought a bunch and then the extra one I ended up giving away to my, my parents in law. Uh, I call it one ninety nine. So one damn it's expensive. Yeah, one seventy nine and one ninety nine for the new Apple TV. Thirty two gig for one seventy nine, sixty four gigs, one ninety nine. April 30th order available in May, second half of May. A12 Bionic yeah. processor inside. I do like the HDR though. And if you, that's a big selling point though, because if you've got a newer TV in the last couple of years that really have the HDR enhancements, it yeah. really, it does make a difference when you're watching your show. So uh, I can get jiggy with that. Yeah, my LG OLED has that. Oh, Mr. LG OLED. I just have an <laughs> LG Nano. LG well, Nano. I got a crazy deal on it though. I got this LG go. Nano cell. He's talking about the Mac. Embarking on a two-year transition to Apple Silicon, and we're off to an incredible start. So they're going to talk about their Silicon. That's the only great thing right now is I don't have to listen to Tim Cook say Apple Silicon like <laughs> 8,000 times. I'm so sick of hearing Apple Silicon, <laughs> Apple Silicon. I wonder why they, they never show... They never show quotes from uh, YouTubers. So it's always from like these major magazines that. No, I mean, does anyone even still go to? Do you go to Wired? I never do. Oh, Wired's trash. Yeah. 
A lot of those websites really, to me, since the the advent of the video age, have really gone downhill a lot the last couple of years. Yeah, well, because I think the people that would work there now are like, I can just do this on my own and make... Yeah. I mean, look at a lot of these celebrities that used to do this. I mean, you look at even like Rene Ritchie with iMore, you look at a lot of people, they've left their home bases they were at for years yeah. and dedicated talents. Because, yeah, you can make more on your own. But the other yeah. thing, a lot of these websites have started filling so many ads. It's just... I don't even want to go to them. Right. And then I've got YouTube premium or whatever, so I don't have to watch commercials or ads. Yeah, so I, I thank God for YouTube premium. Man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we got to go in? They're showing off the a whale. It's the Samsung Galaxy 8 whale. I found it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the new Galaxy M1. I wonder if it's so going to be like probably a- going to. It's probably going to end up being if they're putting this in the iMac. I'm assu- and they have it in the, the 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 laptops. They have to put something bigger and better in the in the iMac. They're probably going to up the voltage is what they'll do. Yeah, because I mean it, it's probably has room for scale for adding additional power. So I would imagine if they're going to put it in like a, a legit like 16 inch MacBook Pro, then yeah, it's going to have to have some more voltage. Right. See you later, Tom. Thanks again, brother. Oh, hey, Tom. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a very good point. Uh, there's there's so much trash on there now that when you go to these websites, it's like they try to compete to have all the latest and greatest stuff on there, but there's so much filler that you can't even find what you're looking for half the time. And then the rest of it's ads. <clears throat> yeah, I would imagine because here's the thing. Like when they used to use the Intel chips, they had to have the external GPU, but now they're pushing the the SOC because the silicon has the GPU and the processor together. So yeah. my thought process is if they're going to continue to use the M1, I would imagine that they would up the voltage for more power um, for the pros. Right. It, it costs them so the same amount. The, they're showing off the i. This looks the like iMac. the iMac. Yes, the new iMac. It looks like it basically looks like an iPad Pro with a big speaker on the bottom. Yeah. And that's basically what yeah, they. So done. colors. The multiple colors for the new IMAX. I wonder if we're going to see a drop in price, though. That, that... Yeah, right. I mean, Since no, they put a not. coat of paint on there, it's probably going to be $200 yeah. more. <laughs> basically, they, basically, they just took a, an iPad and made it bigger and threw a speaker and a color on there. But you know what's funny, too, dude, is that you won't even see – I mean, I guess you could see the color from the front. But other than that, you're not going to see the, the the big color splash on the back. No, you'll see the bezel. <laughs> you walk yeah. In. But also, though, um, it's like Katy Perry. It should be touchscreen, I imagine. So they have, they don't have a lot of ports on the back. Wow. No, it looks they like have a power button. And what is it four USB C's? Yeah, four Thunderbolts. That's it. Oof, that's rough. Uh, yeah, well, they'll sell you on a dock. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty thin, though. It's very thin. I, I do like that. Um, I mean, it looks really sleek. I mean, could you imagine if you're like a business now and just outfitting all of your employees and, and with these things? I mean, that would be really sleek. Yeah, especially everything wireless, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard. Oh yeah, I mean it. I'm sure this could probably start off at twenty one ninety nine. Probably. I mean, maybe they might have like a twenty one inch model or a nineteen inch model. Maybe they'll have it for like seventeen ninety nine. I don't know. <clears throat> and I, if they got is the are the bezels smaller? Because if the bezels are smaller, I think they'll make the screen bigger. Yeah, the bezels are smaller. Um, so then, then that means the screens are going to be bigger. Screens are probably going to be twenty four and thirty, maybe. I don't think they'll go thirty. I think it'll be twenty seven and like twenty. It'll probably be twenty one and like twenty seven or something. No, twenty one would be oh, really, really small. It might be twenty four well, and seven. It's really thin compared to last generation. Oh yeah. So it's going to M one. So. That's the previous iMac. Yeah, Logic I board and thermals say. were huge. <clears throat> so, wow, the Logic board's like, yeah, so much smaller. Well, basically, they took all this, and you're going to see at the end. So the board. thermal system has two fans. There are two fans in this. Two fans. That's good. Wow, that's surprising to me. <clears throat> they must be putting some serious power in this thing. Like they're really going to have to to turn up the the speed on that M1 chip to, uh, to make this worthwhile. 
they must be because of the fans too. So they must have because I don't think there is there fans in the MacBooks. I don't know if there is no, you, for the, the M ones. They're fanless. So this as far must as be. More, it's got to be more powerful. Display. I'm gonna talk about next. Quad HD Plus Retina. <clears throat> 24 inches. So maybe they only have one model. Hmm. Wow. 4480 by 2520. 4.5K resolution. 4.5K? <clears throat> well, the previous one they had 5K, right? P th yeah. P3 wide gamut. True tone. Low reflectivity coating. It looks what color really would nice. you get? Maybe dark blue? I don't know. I, the dark blue is nice. It would go well with my with my iPhone. I say I'm not going to buy anything. I'm like, I just spent Dude, dollars. I know you're going to buy that. That's why I asked you yesterday. You're like, nope, I'm not going to buy anything. And it's, I, you always say the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to make like a drinking game out of it. <laughs> Maybe. What is this guy saying? So it sounds like 1080p HD camera, finally. Yeah. Actually, I think I've got to go for a few minutes, but I'll, I'll come right back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to remove you? Uh, I'll just remove you and you can come back. You can probably hear me. I'll just remove you. You can come back. Uh, just give me a thumbs up or something. So right now he's talking about what is he talking about? The camera. He's talking about the camera on the iMac. iMac 1080p camera. Previously, they were using 720 on there. So they finally upped it to 1080. Face detection, auto exposure, noise reduction, image, image fusion. Enhanced dynamic range. Oh. Best camera ever in a Mac if you weren't, if you didn't know, now you know, finally, the best camera in a Mac. Better, better microphones now. This thing's going to be expensive. Let me see if it's, I doubt their store is live yet, but let me just double check. Yeah, it's not live yet. The store is still closed. So the best microphone system ever in a Mac, they're saying. <clears throat> Who's Jim Steinman? Jim Steinman died. Hitmaker for Meatloaf. All right, big speakers in there. Yeah. Which I don't really care. I'd rather I just when I'm doing speakers, I do speakers right in from a from a speaker system. I don't need the speakers from. Oh, you know what I'm thinking right now. You're gonna have to have USB. I don't even think there's a. There's not even a microphone, a um, headphone jack for the for the for the iMac. So you're gonna have to use either. USB-C speakers or get an adapter of some sort to be able to do that, like a dock. <clears throat> Let's see what the price is. Talking about performance, unrivaled, wakes up almost instantly. <clears throat> so th they're saying 
and they're talking about their native apps, like their Apple apps, but they're saying that it's very, the performance is amazing. You can have hundreds of tabs open. iPhoto works really well. Gaming is good. While all, so they're saying you could like game and do a Zoom call and stuff like that. It's 85% faster than the last 21 and a half Mac. Man, I hope they come up with a bigger one because I like a nice large display. I'll be a little disappointed if it's 24 inches only. Photoshop's two times faster now. Keep yawning. <clears throat> so I, I uh, their their video editing software with this machine, you can edit 8K without dropping a frame, or or I think they said like four or five K videos or something like that without dropping a frame. iPhone and iPad apps can be installed on this. <clears throat> Same thing with games. iPhone and iPad games can be installed in this. You can use your keyboard as a as a gamepad. Calls and texts on your iPad on your iMac. Copy and paste text from your iPhone to your iMac. Big Sur experience. Connectivity. Four USB-C ports, two Thunderbolt ports, which is included in the four already. <clears throat> New power connector connects magnetic. Color match woven um, power cord. The power the power supply itself has an Ethernet port built into it. It's kind of cool. So the new Magic Keyboard is color matched to the Mac that you buy with emoji, uh, dedicated emoji keyboard, key. So Touch ID, they sell a Magic Keyboard with, with that into it so you can use your fingerprint sensor right on the keyboard, which is nice, I have to admit. I do like that. Miguel, some crystal geyser, baby. Nature's best. <clears throat> There's a color matched magic mice, magic tree trap trackpads that are color matched. They are coming up with a magic keyboard with a touch ID and a uh, number keypad on there as well. Showing off how iMac can fit into your life. They're saying basically, they're basically saying it can fit anywhere that you want it to.
That's fast. <clears throat> yeah, it's really nice and thin. If they only release, what I think they're going to end up doing is if they only release a 24 inch iMac, I think they'll probably come out with an iMac Pro as well, which they already, they do have an iMac Pro, but they'll probably come out with an M1 um, iMac Pro that has a 30 inch display, if I had to guess. Guesses on price, um, I would say probably. $24.99. I'm thinking $24.99. It's got its 100% recyclable. Recyclable. Display glass. It's just saying how um, how environmentally friendly all their products are. Twelve ninety nine. I was completely wrong. Eight course. So you can get it starting at twelve nine and fourteen ninety nine. April thirtieth, you can order it. In the second half of May. It's not that bad of a price, actually. Um, especially when you when you figure that the 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 the, the computer itself is um, like an iMac, but you get a nice display with it. I bet there's usually they include I think a keyboard and a mouse with that. I don't think they're gonna do that this year. I bet they'll probably make you purchase that separately if I had a bet. Oh, this guy's running on the roof. <laughs> this guy's running on top of the Apple roof. <clears throat> He's like jumping down. It's like a daredevil guy and he's like cutting a hole in the glass. <laughs> what is this all about? Row, 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 row. What is going on here? I wonder what this product is. It's just like a dude. It's like, um, not 007. Metal Gear Solid. What they're showing off now, kind of. Well, it's the new... Mm, so it's the... He's messing with the... <clears throat> MacBook and he took the M1 processor out of it. He must be putting it in an iPad, I would bet. Um I don't know what he just did. He he took the M1 processor out of a MacBook and then and now it's <laughs> looks like an so it's in the iPad now. Yep. So the iPad iPad Pro now has the same processor as the computers now. But 
ultimately the M1 is really just one of those A processors just souped up a little bit. So it's not really like the, the new iPad Pro is getting the M1. It's, again, it's M, M1 processor is a souped up A processor. Eight core CPU in the iPad Pro. Seventy five percent, seventy five times faster performance than the original iPad. Are you ready, Adam, or are you just there for looks? Generation iPad. This oh, iPad. this there is ridiculous. What that that it's in this? Yeah, I thought that they were going to put the uh, like the A fourteen in there. I didn't think they were going to put the M one in the iPad Pro. Yeah, that means that you can use like real apps now. I wonder if we're going to be able to use Final Cut Pro. Well, they said that the new iMac, which I think that I, I never do this, but I think the MacBooks do it too, but you can run the Apple apps on, I mean, the, I, the iOS apps on it. So I'm assuming it's going to go back and forth. You know, that was the rumors that um, that the, the iPad is going to be able to run Final Cut. If it can, I'm buying one like as soon as I... <laughs> you will be able to. Or it's, I don't know if it's out right now. It's probably going to be the end of this year, I bet. But it's, it is coming. I know that. They've already announced that. They announced that last time. Yeah. I know they had talked about it before, but that's what I need because I hit it with Final Cut Pro. And I, it would be really nice to be able to just airdrop my stuff and then like go sit on the couch or lay in bed and watch TV and edit my videos. Yeah. Anything to you, get me... You use Final Cut Pro, right? Yeah. See, I use... Um... DaVinci. DaVinci, yeah. I don't think I'm going to buy the iMac. I'm not. I did see that it's going to start at like $14.99, though. Which yeah, the I mean, price, $12.99 and $14.99. Yeah, the yeah. price is good, but it's like I already have the Mac Mini, and it's. I feel like it's going to be performance-wise very similar, so I don't think I'm going to do it. I have the it's Mac Mini. Like, no, nobody in my house needs one of those. Like, If I didn't have like this big desktop computer with the 34-inch ultra-wide and a Mac yeah. Mini, then, then sure, then it would be great. But I, for people who don't have a standalone computer, though, it's a good option. Wait, did you see how much storage it says? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Two, up to two terabytes. I bet that's going to cost like fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> it's going to be more than that, dude. It's going to be two thousand at least. Well, you know, for every terabyte, they charge four hundred dollars in a desktop. So it's ridiculous. <laughs> what they charge for storage stuff just drives me up a wall. So it has Thunderbolt. Yeah, not just USB C. Thunderbolt. <laughs> Four times more bandwidth. Now I got to see a demonstration of somebody using it. I don't know. They haven't really been. Maybe. Oh, it looks like it when you hook it up to a TV, it, it's actually widescreen now. That would be really nice. Just like lay in bed and use Final Cut Pro on your tablet, connected to your <laughs> TV. I, I own Final Cut Pro now. I should actually learn how to use it so in case I want to edit on the go. I, I like the iPad. But that would also make it super nice. So like if you travel, you go somewhere, like you don't even need to take your laptop with you. Just take the, ta take yeah. the iPad. So it has 5G, they're saying. Yeah, I've been on that ferry before. Where is that, New York? Yeah. <clears throat> Staten Island Ferry. I wonder if he's probably, he's probably not even really there. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, God. I guess they've maybe improved the camera some. They act like you need 5G to do a video call. LTE works perfectly fine. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the Ellis Island, apparently, not the Staten Island. Dude, 3G actually worked fine. I used to do FaceTime. I had that little hack that you could do. I had a jailbroken phone. I'd be doing 3G iPhone uh, calls. <laughs> it was fine. I guess they're talking about having, like, maybe pro-caliber camera stuff. Yeah, and I know the camera was a big upgrade on the last iPad Pro, but it looks like maybe they might have taken it a step farther. You don't want to carry that thing around. I'm not going to shoot video with that. No. I don't know who would, really. Watch, we'll you, start do, watch you and I will start recording with the iPad <laughs> Pro's on camera. I need a mount like this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can do some augmented reality stuff for your video. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. This is like uh, Xbox. What was that? Connect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting dress that she has. <clears throat> LiDAR. I like how she says that. LiDAR. Oh, LiDAR. The most advanced LiDAR in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting tired of hearing about the lighter. Where's the, where's the true dar? <laughs> Dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. I don't want it. I can't get jiggy with this modern furniture, though. Like, I would never sit in. <laughs> it's probably hurts your ass. Yeah, like, I would not sit in that. A lot of different colors, for sure. I have to admit, they are pushing pretty good through this. It's it's got a good pace to it. It's not. It does, yeah. I mean, they're not like slowing down. They're not getting hung up on stuff. Like they're keeping it interesting, but moving mm -hmm. forward. <laughs> oh, center stage. Why couldn't they put that twelve megapixel on the freaking iMac? <laughs> yeah, right. I I don't understand why. Oh, it follows you. I haven't seen this before. This is in Google's. Um, uh, a smart display. I actually like this feature a lot. Google Smart Display has it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to talk to anybody on it, but it's a cool feature. <laughs> I haven't made one FaceTime call in the entire, like, last year. <clears throat> you haven't? I made a couple. I, don't I, I, talk, I talk to people on the phone. I don't, I don't do a video yeah. call. I like one generation. This is kind of low. 600, 600 nits. nits. Yeah. It's pretty low. Well, I mean, the iPhone 12 is baseline 625. So, I mean, it's fine. Mm -hmm. No, but, I know. It's not going to be awful, but it's still kind of... I think Samsung's, Samsung's troubles get brighter. Yeah. Let's see. I don't oh, like that because that was the that was the iPad 11. Let's see what they say. Is, this is the 12. I feel like they need to bring this one at least on par with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I mean, it needs to be like eight eight twenty five. Isn't that what it is? We'll see. We'll see if it is. So it has I think he said it has HDR built into display. Yeah, what's their Pro Retina display? <clears throat> Extremely high brightness. He said. There's some contrast serious issue. colors going on there. Yeah, I wonder what the peak brightness is. It's the is. iPad Pro Pro. Double Pro. I wonder if they're going to have two. Aren't they going to have two versions? Like maybe there's going to be an. They M1. are. Th no, this one's going to be 1,000 nits of brightness. I like that. Man, that's. 1,600 nits that's peak brightness. Okay, baseline. this is the one to get. This is the one we're getting. Don't hold back, Adam. Baseline 1,000. Wow. I can't oh, wait. They're going to price tag nineteen ninety nine. Oh my god! You probably no. I did hear the prices are going to be higher, at least for the twelve nine one. Um, I think they said fifty bucks more, a hundred bucks more. I think that was the rumor. We'll see if that's true. Not with two terabytes of storage. <laughs> well, no, that's going to be a. You're right. That's going to be a two thousand dollar machine. 
But it's worth it though. Like with all the stuff you can do on it, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, what if if, if you were going to try the, and get the display is too you, small for me still. Like what I want, even even the MacBook Air, I, I want the display to be bigger. Yeah, but ninety percent. I want the fifteen people, inch one. Like ninety no, percent. I know what you mean. Buying this, uh, I know what you mean. Not just going to be playing like solitaire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the micro LED though, or mini LED. Yeah. That's how they get all that. That's how they get the brightness. But the other great thing is, is you get all the uh, localized brightness and dimming though, too. It's not like a normal LCD or LED panel where it has to like dim and brighten certain areas. So with all mm -hmm. the mini LEDs, you can have different levels of contrast and brightness and colors throughout. So it gives you like an amazing color spectrum. You know, I don't know how much that's going to be realized while you're holding a tablet, but... <laughs> I wonder why they don't let you order it today. Not all the products are ordered April 30th. I guess they kind of have been doing that, huh, lately? They always what do that. that. That's no. next week, right? I'm surprised that they're... I would think they would do it earlier, though, because Samsung's event is on the 28th, so... Yeah, but that's like... <laughs> I, don't think I mean, not like anyone that's watching this <laughs> is probably going to be swayed by... Uh, yeah, exactly. By and it runs it. Windows anyway. It's like they already know about Windows... You know, whatever. Yeah. It's a nice background. It is. I like that. Is that supposed to be Big Sur? I don't actually know what Big Sur is, other than like a rock formation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know? I don't think I really know either. You live in California. Luma, bro. He's talking about Luma Fusion. Yeah, but I wasn't born here, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. People always be talking about the high schools out here. I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know where that is. I don't care where it is. <laughs> when did you move to California? 2004. Yeah, so you've, you've been there since you were, what, like 23, 24? Uh, 24. Yeah, I've been here so long. I mean, it's crazy how long I've been here now. All right, 12.9, 120 touch sensing rate. Promotion, yeah. tap to wake. They have already they have basically all that stuff. Yeah. The big selling point here is the M1 and the display. It's not like everything else. Yeah. Oh. Who's this guy? I've never heard of Procreate. It might make more sense if I could hear what they were saying. They're there. It's just a bunch of developers, and they're talking about the M1 processor and how they they're they're going to end up talking about how they use the iPad Pro. <clears throat> Basically, saying there's no limits to it. Well, you can do anything with it now. And I can use my Air, AirPods Pro or whatever they are. Yeah, the AirPods uh, the headset, AirPods Max. That I never use. <laughs> I don't really, honestly. This is the first time I put mine in my ears for like months. Well, I mean, I've got the the headphones. Um, oh yeah, I had those, and then I was like, these are way too expensive for. Uh, they sound great, and they you know, but I'm like charging them. Don't you have to charge them in the case too? It's such a pain in the ass. I like them just fine, mm. but I don't use them. <laughs> yeah, they just sit around. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, they'll be good for like five years before they make new ones. I'll just Dude, buy them. I really like those. What's that company that sent us those big hair headphones? They're like 300 bucks. You and I both got them. Um, they used to make they used to make Bluetooth headsets like just for you to talk on the phone with them. Jabra. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jabra's great. Yeah. They're those things are awesome, dude. Yeah. The 85Hs are so good. Those are awesome. Especially when you talk on the phone. Everyone oh. always hears me. They never say what. It's like the best. I love Jabber. I'm waiting for the 95 H's to come out so I can get those because those are going to be big. Oh, this got like the uh, the upgraded version, the next version. Yeah, of the 85 H's are a year old now. Or they're coming yeah. up on a year old. I'm expecting new headphones from them sometime this this fall. Yeah, I I got their contact uh, one of those trade events actually. 
Hey, what's this? I don't think so. Keyboard. Hey, what's up, Super Celts? Show us the price, dude. Uh, they're they're saving that for last. <laughs> All right, accessories. I do love their keyboard attachment. Man, that thing's the bomb. I've heard that. I, I don't. I don't actually. You don't have, have it. No, I don't have an iPad. Dude, it's awesome. Oh, you don't have an iPad. Okay. No, I use like you my. Just, you should just get the keyboard then. <laughs> I, I use my Rocket. Uh, that's what I should do. I, I need to get one of their keyboards because every time, like, I've got my Mac Mini sitting on top of my gaming desktop, which is also my work PC. So every yeah. like, in the evening, I got to switch all my like my cables over so I can use it for editing. Oh, things. that's annoying. And I've got that's the Mac annoying. Touchpad, which I love. Oh, that's a, they got a white keyboard thing now. Yeah, I just need to go ahead and get one of their Magic keyboards. That would make my life easier. I can just move this keyboard out of the way, turn the on switch on, and then not have to deal with all that. There you go. You know what you're ordering April 30th now. I mean, I can order the Magic Keyboard now. No, but you can't get the colors till April 30th. So I was watching. Okay, so, you know, yeah. Apple was so courageous and brave because they took the charging cable, like the charging brick out of the phone <laughs> box, and then they come out with 15 different aluminum mice. That they're have they're so brave. <laughs> yeah, it's like... We're oh, here's price, 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 price. Seven ninety nine starting price for the iPad Pro 11-inch. And... $7.99 iPad Pro 12.9, 10.99. I think that's the same. Is that the same? Uh, April 30th order date. I don't know, man. But the thing is, is what you're getting in that for 10.99 is insanely worth it. I mean, it's basically like a gigantic iPad Pro Max now. Yeah. Like an Air, yeah. like a, it's an iPhone Pro Max, but it's like. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the 12.9. I'm gonna sell my 11. So if anybody wants to buy my 11 inch, let me know, Adam, with keyboard attachment. I'm not buying your crap. I'm going to buy the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here watching the event, I'm going to buy it. Hey, I'll sell you, I'll sell you my 11 inch. I don't want to hear you say you're not going to buy it, and then like a day later you're like, I bought it. It's it's in my thing. I I've said since yesterday that I'm more than likely going to buy this. <laughs> All right, we'll see. What color are you going to get? How many, isn't it just black and or silver and white or something? I don't know. I'll probably just get black. They have shown colors yet, have they? Or whatever they call it. Midnight. What are they? Oh, I forget their colors. I don't know. Whatever. They all come up. It, it, the color's black, and then everyone's like, cosmic black. or Whatever color name they came up with after they sniffed a bunch of markers. Yeah. I The pencil, though, like it looks cool, but like I have no reason for that in my life, personally. I, I know some people do, but for me, I don't need it. I use the S Pen when I use because I use my Tab S7 Plus every day, but I use it for all my um, I do it for all my thumbnails. So I really like having the stylus for that. But mm -hmm. it the S Pen comes with the Tab S7 Plus, so it's going to be a harder sell for me to want to spend probably 150 bucks to buy this Apple Pencil. Like I'm not a big Apple Pencil fan, but yeah, I'm not yeah. a, I'm not really a big like I'm not really a big iPad fan. I just I like it because it's got the M1 chip in it now, and that tells me that I'm going to get Final Cut Pro at some point in time. So, I mean, I'm going to buy it. Um, it's going to happen. But I'm curious to how much that two terabyte one costs with with 5G. Oh my god! Well, I want to. It's got to be at least two thousand. I wonder what the baseline storage is. Like the baseline storage. I bet should be one twenty eight. Yeah, one twenty eight. If it's two fifty six, I'll get the base. If it's not, I don't even. I'm. Oh, the battery's oh. exhausted. Oh, it's so tired. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Technical difficulties. This is probably the most exciting thing that happened on stream so far. Help me, help me <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> What are they going to announce now? Do they announce everything? I. They haven't talked about the pencil yet. No, I think they're. Oh, you're right. I don't think they're going to. Apple Card family. There we go. Apple right. Podcast redesignation. Yeah. So apparently, I didn't charge my camera after my last live stream, but I'm still here. I got my backup. <laughs> you don't look as good, but you look good. I, I'm just crispy. I'm not crispy AF. Yeah. 
Siri remote with the Apple TV. I think they're done unless they say one more thing. I thought uh, there's always one more thing. I thought for sure there was supposed to be a new uh, Apple Pencil. This kind of irritates me. Everything. When I made my video last night, I was thinking for whatever reason the iPad Pro is going to have the A14X in it, not the M1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I made my video, I said A14X. <laughs> and Ooh. Did you just, get a lot of views for that video or not really? I haven't, I haven't launched it yet. I was waiting for this. Oh, to, okay. I was waiting to confirm everything. You know? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of those should things. should have done it last night. I did do it last night. No, I mean recorded, re released it. Oh, yeah. Because people would be looking for it now already. Well, I, yeah, that's why I was planning on launching it right now. That's why I was waiting for this to confirm. And I'm glad I did because I would look like a complete clown if I released it saying A14X and it's an M1 chip. Is that the whole Apple event? I Is guess so. It? I guess there's no one more. Production and health safety. I'm going to mute this so I don't uh, have to hear there. Well, music. I guess what did you, before we get off, what do you think? Well, I'm a little disappointed because I was expecting, like, I thought people were talking about a new MacBook Pro uh, and with the M1 in it. And I thought people were gonna, talking about, like, the Apple Pencil as well. So I was expecting to see at least an Apple Pencil. Um, I mean, the iMac is cool. I like it. I like the colors and everything. And I, I yeah. like what they did with the iPad going with the M1. But I don't know. It was, I'm not going to say it was misleading, but. <laughs> A lot of the popular stuff that I saw really made it sound like there was going to be a couple of things that weren't here. The iMac a little for me is a little bit disappointing. I mean, I if I, I, I guess if I didn't have, if I didn't have the Mac Mini, Mac Mini, I would be more excited for it. The iPad Pro, I don't use it a ton, but I like the fact that you said it has the M1. It'll have native eventually have native support with that. Um, I like I, I wanted I want to get the twelve point nine anyway, so I'll do that. The tags I don't really care about, and then the Apple TV. I have the Google things. I don't watch that much TV already, and when I do, it's mostly just YouTube, and I already have devices that do that perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll pick it up. Are you going to no. pick up the Apple TV? Mm -mm. I'm not going to lie. You're making that Pepsi look delicious. Yeah, I, I like Pepsi. <clears throat> and I like all soda drinks mostly, but... I like I Coke better. Coca Cola I had, products. But. I, I had some pizza for lunch and I really like Pepsi when I had pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, pizza is good. I mean, Pepsi is, I agree with that. Pepsi is good with pizza. Um, all right. Well, I guess everyone, well, now everyone comes in. I guess before we close up shop, if anybody wants to come on and uh, talk with us real quick, you have to have your camera on. I'll uh, open up the, the feed here a little bit. Yeah, I've actually. All you got to do is click, or me if you have to go. Just click that link and you can come on and talk for a little bit if you want to give your thoughts on an, the Apple event. If you liked anything, didn't like anything, let us know. Just click on that link. You can use any device you want as well. What yeah. are you saying, Adam? I've got to roll out because i got to get back to work. I, oh, use, right, I use my lunch hour for the hour-long event. So. Man, I can't, believe, I can't believe YouTube only gives you an hour lunch. <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, my regular employer only gives me an hour lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> but at least I get an hour for lunch. So I got to go, I gotta go do good work and help people. So, All right, man. It's good oh. to see you. All right, man. Later. All right. Later. So if you want to be on, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stay on for a little bit. If you guys want to talk, click that link and we can talk and come on a video. Otherwise, we can do a water stream, see how many waters I can drink without throwing up. Jaden Brown, what's up, Jaden? Oh, I don't like this one. Put that, put it down on. I can see Ham, Ham World, so I can see your face. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'll close up shop. Thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, the next stream will probably be. I might do the Samsung one. Depends on the day. So we'll see you.